I just say I'm from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Kyoto, Japan. Portland, Oregon. And good Samaritan. I'm from Portland, Oregon, United States of America, 97215. Originally, my dad's balls, I guess, is sort of the source. But uh, before that, kind of just like a crossbreed of all of Europe. Sort of like a cesspool of like colonizers. Um, and a little bit of Ireland, we well, okay, that's also in Europe, but. Uh, very white, in summary. Uh, I don't know how I'm school. And now from Portland, Oregon, where I've grown up my whole life in the same house. I am from here. I live in the same house my whole life. Um, I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, in a bathtub. And um, <laughs> I was originally supposed to be born in the kiddie pool, and then I moved to Portland when I was two. Portland. I uh, was born in Denver, Colorado, but I moved to Portland when I was five, and I haven't left. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Damn, going straight into it, huh? Okay. Um, being able to forgive people. I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's just like wanting to be around people or like a certain person and not wanting to not feeling the need to change yourself in order to be around the person you want to be around an idea a feeling whatever it means to someone as an individual i think love is it seems chill you know it's like a connection between like anyone you know like friends, parents, grandparents, homies, partners, anyone. Uh, I think love is real, but it's not as objective as we often look at it in media. It can be a billion different things. It can be like good food, or it can be romantic love. I think love is something that starts as like a spark between people and then you kind of have to like choose to grow that into something more because like it's not like I don't believe in love at first sight I think that's kind of stupid but definitely think that there can be something between people and then you can choose to make that into something more or not mm, we're gonna go with like <laughs> Annie's mac and cheese <laughs> with 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 frozen broccoli pieces in it I think love is when, I don't know, love, love has like a lot of different, like, there's a lot of different types of love, like, I think that you can find love in anybody, and like, it's like being comfortable around them, like, who you genuinely are, but it can be from, I don't know, it can be like romantic or platonic, but I think the basis of love is like, you can be like exactly who you are with no judgment. I think love is, it can be a bunch of different things, I think. I think it is an individual, I think it changes from person to person. Personally, I think it is someone or something that you can connect with and bond with and is a safe space and a safe environment. Feeling. Probably the uh, the downy like unsmellables or like the little pellets you throw in your washers. Ooh, vanilla. Mm. Either either good lavender or salty beach air. Like the smell of the beach, like the saltiness. That's such a good smell. It's like you know when you like you pull up to the beach, you're out in the car. It's like yeah. It's just like perfect in every way. I don't know the word for it, but it's wet cement after rain. Fresh bread. Four books. Four bucks. Oh, um, I really like cumin and I really like um, uh, 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 jasmine. What page? Yeah, 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 got it. Bless you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be. My mom.
That's what I wrote on my chemistry paper. Yeah, I think that's what the purple crayon. I should be reading a lot more than I do. I actually um Ooh, I really like um Pat Cemetery by What's that one guy? I don't think. But Twilight Saga? I'll, that's good, that's good. I don't know, I read this book, like, I'm not quite done with it. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's like shifting your mindset between, like, broke mentality to a, like, <laughs> broke mentality to, a, like, a, like, thinking about how to make money and, like, not be poor. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I told Alex about this. He's gonna read it. Make yeah, no, that book's pretty good. Calvin and Hobbes, the ultimate edition. I really liked A Gentleman in Moscow. I thought that was really good. Mm -hmm. I have a lot, but we're gonna go back to the pen Yeah, classic. I read a book in so long. Wait, the last book I read was not my favorite. I. I don't know my favorite, but one of them, like a really good one that I read a while ago was Omega Shape Space. Um, the one piece of manga. I don't read. Psychologist. Um, tattoo artist? See, I thought I knew, but now I don't know. I think somewhere in something in the art realm though. I don't know. Ooh. This I wanna be creative when I grow up. Like, are we talking like career wise or just anything? I wanna do shit when I'm older. Like <laughs> sorry. I wanna like do anything when I'm older. Like be able to do anything and like be able to make anything I want. Like, kind of like a blend between like a craftsman to just like make shit for fun, or like a, like someone who's rich and can like travel anywhere they want for fun. Ideally a film director or a writer or anything in art or media, really. Satisfied with my choices. A butcher. <laughs> I don't know. I want to travel like really badly. Maybe I want to like work with people. Yeah. Maybe work with kids. I like kids. Um, porn star. Bet. Somewhere better than where you live. I don't think you go anywhere. Just kind of. Body decomposes and that's kind of it. Reincarnate or you just kind of float around. I think you go to heaven if you believe in God. Um, I'm going in an urn, I think. Probably. Although if I have a budget for it, a Viking funeral is kind of like what I'm shooting for. And then just sort of like a nowhere, just a void. Into either nothing or everything. I haven't decided. Um, I don't know, but personally, I'd I'd like to. I feel like I'd be down to like I don't know, become a tree. I've talked about this with my friends. I don't know. I feel like your soul gets like moved into like something else. Like, like you know how people are like an old soul. That's because they've like lived a ton of lives throughout different people, but. I feel like you kind of, you're like reborn into like, I don't know, something new. It could be like a little plant, or it could be like an animal, or like a new person. But I want to be born into like, I don't know, like a tree. <laughs> I don't like, I think, I don't really know how to like say it, but like, I think it's like a white room, and it's like a big white box, and then you have like a life in that big white box, and it's just that big white box. But like, it's all big and, and white. And I don't know. I like it. The ground. Yeah. 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 The ground. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Enough. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty happy. Like, tweaking, respectively. <laughs> Somewhat. Right now, no, not as much as I used to be, but I think that I can be happy in the future. Mostly. I would say so. Yes, ma'am! I've gained two things. I've gained philosophies and a lot to live for in recent years. I don't know. Life's been good. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I think the mullet. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just, yeah. Just everything seems good right now. Why am I respectively tweaking? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I just don't think about much things that I do. I just try and do things with like the logic and reasoning of like then and don't like hold back on that, you know? Like I just try and keep things simple and just go with it and don't overthink. Because I'm optimistic. Sometimes I'm not, but I am enough that I feel like it cancels out. Uh... I don't know. Life is good. School's almost over. Yeah, that's it. I just have so many things to love. Like, I have so many friends that are all amazing. I have very awesome friends who love me very much. I have incredible parents. And the weather's nice, and it's about to be summer. So I'm very happy about that. A lot of reasons. Um, it's for class, I'd rather not say. Uh, uh, because I'm really, like, I'm just really sick. That's up to the person making ah. decisions. Yeah. But to a, but like limited, to an extent. Not necessarily. It's, it's as free as you want it to be, but then also it comes with enough limitations. Yeah, I think like free will exists to an extent. Like anyone can achieve free will with enough like grind per se <laughs> but like people some people can obtain free will easier like if they're born into like a rich family they're like able to like build themselves financially and be able to like do anything they want per se but if you're like born <laughs> into what per se <laughs> what with enough grind per se <laughs> i'm never gonna forget <laughs> no but like if you're like born broke then it's like you're forced into working at an early age and then like you're, you don't necessarily like have the same means to ha like go anywhere you want mm -hmm. as someone who's born rich would. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what else you are. Um, free will. That would be like being able to do what you want. Ish. Kind of. Okay. Dude, I don't know. Um, sure. Why not? Yeah. I can do whatever I want right now. <laughs> There's, there's a hundred percent of things to do. I could go and take that camera, and then I could just go bike away with the camera and make a little vlog. <laughs> but I will. Um, I think there is, but like, I don't think like it's like as common as people think. I think. Wait, what is? Um, I think like everything comes from a choice, but like everything like leads into one thing. And it's not always your decision and your choice how things end up. And I think there is like free will in the actions you take, but not the outcome. I don't think is free will, and it's. Uh, uh yes. Christmas at Seaside. Ooh, I'm in my backyard in my old house. We had like, we got those like inflatable pools and I had like a bunch of friends over. And then we played tag in the backyard. You 
either my grandma setting out candy bowls in her kitchen for me, or getting a lightning McQueen bike on like my fifth birthday. There's not. Oh, I do like that thing. I saw like two wizards today. <laughs> The problem I, 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 was like, I, I, I was like the first one. The first one that comes to mind of like childhood memories when I was like three, and I climbed on top of my refrigerator to eat Cheerios. Mm. I was like chilling. I was in the home. I was in my room, or not in the room, the living room by myself. My mom leaves for half a second. I climb on top of the refrigerator next to the knives just to grab some Cheerios. You know, I was I, I was I was trying to get some Cheerios. Uh, my grandma. Reading the Harry Potter series to me as I was lying down in her living room couch eating mac and cheese. My little brother used to like beg me to play Legos every morning, but I always wanted to read instead. But like looking back, the Legos were better for sure. Um, when I was little, I when I first learned how to make food, I learned how to make zucchini, and so um, we were listening to. Closer to find by the Indigo Girls in the kitchen, and I was chopping zucchini with a butter knife, and it was like fire. So yeah, childhood. I mean, Opal Creek and Elsa when we were younger, like meeting Elsa when I was younger, and then going to Opal Creek with her, and like I've always just had such like a special bond with her. I remember there was this meadow at Opal Creek, and it had like the best stargazing in the world. That's kind of what started like my love for stargazing. It's like there are trees surrounding it. So when you look up, it kind of looks like you're in like a fishbowl of trees. And it has like the clearest stars that you'll ever see. And I remember my mom or dad, they would, one of the nights, they would always come and find me in the meadow because it would be time for me to go to bed. And we would be like walking back to the cabin. And then my mom would always say, she'd be like, Tessa, turn off your flashlight and then look up at the stars. And it was like, my favorite childhood memory is the first time my sister tried to teach me skateboarding. Eating ice cream at Dairy Queen for the first time. Seed cookies, never heard of them. Bird seed cookies? Never had. I've never heard of one. I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. They would. They don't, I would eat a bird seed cookie. Maybe not poppy seeds though. I don't like my poppy. I don't like poppy seeds. What are bird seed cookies? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. Say, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, they're just not good. Like they're just good. You know, I'm not like a yucker of yum. So if you're into that, I'm fine with it. And I don't have like a burning hatred for some, but they're they're solid. I personally would not have come up with them, and I don't think the world would miss much if they weren't here. But they're not awful. I don't really know about bird seed cookies, but I did eat dog biscuit once. This is not it. <laughs> okay, my grandma wants. This is so random. My grandma wants brought birdseed cookies from Sun Valley when she drove down, but I didn't try one because I was like scared because it's called a birdseed cookie, I don't know why I would want to eat it, but she was like, they're so good, like you have to try it, but I never, I told her I ate one and I liked it because I felt bad, but I never tried it because I was scared. I don't know what that is. Birdseed cookies? I would eat that. Depends on where I'm at, but usually it's Euro. My favorite food. I like food a lot. I love food, but I don't think I have a favorite one. Mac and cheese. Yes, please. Bro, Stromboli is crazy. No, actually, Euros. <laughs> Honestly, I really like zucchini. <laughs> um, I, okay, this isn't a food at all, but I really like breakfast. 
<laughs> I can't think of food, but I like breakfast. <laughs> oh, let's see. A hundred thousand miles. Um. Kilometers. Like a couple miles. More than a couple of miles. It's what, like 400 miles? Roughly. The right distance. Uh, pretty far, but the other day I was taking a photo um, from my porch of the moon and I used my like telephoto lens and I don't really remember how far it goes, but I got a pretty like spicy photo of the moon. Uh, I don't know the miles, but it's pretty far away. Is it getting closer to us? I don't know. Far okay, keep going. Like, um, it's not there, so I don't really know. But I'd say a little over 20 feet. A long way. <laughs> Far. <laughs> Far away. I like the Triceratops. I like, I like its horns. Either a Triceratops or a Stegosaurus. Rex. Pterodactyl. No, Dodo bird. I think they're called Brontos Brontosauruses. Brontosauri with the long necks. They look really good. Oh, uh, the Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Cause they look like this. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I just watched an episode of Modern Family. I was where they were acting out a T-Rex playing volleyball. It was really funny. Um, the Pussysaurus. The, um, what's the long neck one? Bronchiosaurus volleyball. What's the one I like? Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. Starting off strong, we got Tao the Creator, uh, Errol Garner, yeah, Mr. Uh, Sammy Nestico. Ooh, Peach Pit, Mac Miller, um, I don't know who the third one would be. Oh, TV Girl. I thought you were about to just say Peach. <laughs> I said no. Musical artists gotta go with Mac DeMarco. Enjoy TV. Probably Tom Petty, Kid Cudi, That's and that. John oh. Fr uh, Fruscian. So I still have to do the controversial with Kanye West. After sex, Taylor Swift, J. Cole, or Kendrick. Uh, 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 that's hard. Um, right now, right now, we're listening to the Lumineers. We're listening to um, 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 I don't know the Beatles, and we're listening to um, we're not. <laughs> um, we're listening to I don't know. I like um, I like a. Uh, Ooh, I don't like Abba. I was gonna say Abba, but I don't like Abba. Um, we're gonna go with Elton John. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. <sighs> Frank Ocean. Lauren Hill. Frank Ocean. And then, like, right now, those two are probably like all time, but like right now, like, drama. Um, Loki, that was kind of a joke. Um, hmm, it's actually MF Doom. Um, can I can say like a band? Nirvana. Um, and 
lucky. One direction. One direction. Ah. <laughs> and you guys won't believe this one. One direction. <laughs> Teleportation. Probably. Good. I think it looks today. Super speed. That'd be kind of. I got this jacket today. Just like jog everywhere. Someone who wasn't a bad person. Just a silly, goofy gal. <laughs> I don't know, like someone who made people laugh, I guess. But like also not like a shitty person who was funny. But like, you know? Mm -hmm. In people's thoughts and memories more than anything physical. I want to be remembered like creative, as a creative and like someone who's like chill. Like, someone who's chill, does stuff, but like, isn't lazy. Like, they do stuff, but like, cool stuff that's chill and creative, you know? And obviously, like, nice and like, remembering and welcoming. Just a chill guy. I don't really care how I'm remembered, honestly, because I'm not going to be there anymore, so it doesn't affect me. So, however people want to remember me. In a good way, like in a way where I, like I feel good about being remembered for that. I don't know. Maybe maybe um by my choco tan line. I think. I don't know. I just want to. I want to be remembered as like a a person that was like nice, happy, a person that like. A lot of people loved, I guess, or like loved a lot of people. I don't really want to be. I want to like, like, just be known now and then now. I don't want to have like a legacy. What road sign? How we're, we're Probably we're yield. I know. I'd say yield. It's like, huh? hold up there. You sure you want to yeah. talk to me right now? <laughs> but then like, once you pass it, it's like, heck yeah. You know? Like, I wanted to talk to you. You're chill. The one with the deer on it to signify the deer. Someone across the street because my name reverses deer. No you turn it allowed. They're like duck crossing, they're like duck X. Oh, we talked about this before, a stop sign, but like it's a square and there's four stop signs around the pole, and so it's a cube stop, and then it's stop cube. Yield. Thank you. 